For tonight's game, Montreal Canadiens coach Dominique Ducharme is in isolation over irregularities in COVID-19 testing. Um, one of his tests didn't come back completely like clean, negative. There were some marks on it. So they are having him go into temporary iso- isolation. I do believe they're going to have him take one more test prior to game time. If that comes back negative, he'll be able to go stand on the bench. If he does test positive, I don't know what happens in that case because during the NHL season, the AHL coach came up and he took the head coaching position um, on the bench. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens if they're without their head coach behind the benches. He's the one who's calling all the line changes and stuff like that. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens that way. Um, Carolina Hurricanes cured up their deal, re-signing their head coach, Rob Brindamore, who won the Jack Adams award. Um, he signs a three-year extension, and he mentioned earlier before that he got to this point that he wanted every single himself and all the staff resigned. Um, that's the only way that he'd be back in the building. Looks like they must have done that and trying to keep that team together. They are looking to lose defenseman Dougie Hamilton as he enters free agency. Should be a top top end defenseman that's out there for a team who needs needs a top four guy and a guy that puts up, put up some points. Um. Last night, New York Islanders take on Tampa Bay, game three. Um, Braden Point for the Tampa Bay Lightning scores again. I think this is his eighth straight game scoring um, a goal in the playoffs. Unbelievable. Dude can't – he's always in the right spot at the right time. I know everybody talks about Kucherov, Stamkos, Varlamov, their goalie – or Vasilevsky, their goalie. But Braden Point, by far, I feel like he's their best player – all season, every season, um, Kucherov is leading in points, but he didn't play all season, so he's a lot fresher, a lot more well-rested than a guy who had to play all season long. In a shortened season when you're playing every other day, now you're in the playoffs where you're basically doing the same thing that you did all season long. So shout out to Tampa getting that done. Um, if they take the next game, look for the series to be over. Um Tampa's starting to suffocate them with their speed. And um, Tampa's goalie has just been on fire, stopping all the all the crazy pucks that he needs to stop at the right time. And that's all it takes is your goalie to make a save at the right time and you're able to put one in at the right time. And that's all it takes to win a hockey game. And that's kind of where we're at right now for um, – <clears throat> NHL, I'm Montreal did get their top defenseman back. For those of you who've seen the picture, he's got some sort of eye condition right now where both of his eyes are completely red. It looks like he's got like the bloodshot red contacts in his eyes, but it's just his eyes. They're like dark, dark, super red. So he looks like a scary man, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, that's all. That's all I really got for hockey here. 